So the Bernays sauce, a classical Bernays sauce, you know, you've got your butter, you've got your like uh, cayenne pepper, paprika, you know, some, some people put white pepper into it, um, tarragon, you know, white and reduction, salt and Dijon. I do a wee twist. There's one thing that I do as well um, when I'm working with the liquid egg yolk. Um, I put a little bit of cream into it as well, and that sort of helps to stabilize it a bit. And that's what we do. So what we do first of all is we've got our, our, uh, our egg yolk in a bambari, um in a bowl, and we've got a pot of water. Once again, it's just simmering no more. You don't want to boil it, because if you boil it, you're going to get scrambled egg. And the process of making Bernays, when you get into it, and uh, you do it once, do it twice, do it three times. The second thing we do in our, our state class in the cookery school, so what I've done already, and I've got my brown unsalted butter, which is really, really important. I have clarified it already. Um, it's ready to go there. Um, I've got my water already heating up. I've got all the key thing is got all my ingredients ready to go. There's no point in doing anything if you're not organized. Because that's when mistakes happen. You start flapping, you start going, oh, what are we going to do wrong? Um, when you make the Bernays sauce, and just say your guests are arriving in the house and they're coming in like two hours time, you can pre-make this whole sauce and have it just sitting on the side. Now, the amount of times in a restaurant where the customers turn around saying, can you heat the Bernays sauce up? You cannot. It has to be served at room temperature because it is a butter sauce, it's a warm butter sauce. If you think as a mayonnaise, mayonnaise is a cold butter sauce, this is a warm butter sauce and it's just blood temperature. So when I make this here, I'm gonna put it in a warm area. So just an ordinary household placing is perfect. You put a lid on or just cover it in clean film and leave it to the side. So first things first, white room reduction, which we have here. So our white room reduction doesn't make a difference if you make five liters or 100 milliliters. It's half white wine to half the white wine vinegar. In this recipe here, I put uh, 500 milliliters of white wine, 500 milliliters of white wine vinegar. I put two bulbs of garlic. I put six bay leaves into it. I put about 25 grams of tarragon into it. And I put two star leaves into it. And then we reduced it right down to by three quarters. And that is our white wine reduction. Now that there, we were using white wine creams. We were using the pepper sauce we would use it in so many things and it gives that lovely bit of sharpness to it so with this here it's not i mean this is what i use with this here all i'm going to put into it is two spoonfuls and it goes next thing we're going to add to it is our dijon mustard a bit of dijon mustard and that there's a good tablespoon of dijon mustard i'm going to add some salt to it and that goes because i want that to break down and cook the whole way through but when i've added some in now and i'll just adjust it later on and the key thing is, as soon as you add the vinegar to it, as soon as you add the salt to it, as soon as you add the mustard to the egg yolk, you have to start working. Because what's going to happen is, that's going to start cooking your egg yolk, okay? So once again, that's on. And we're now just working away. Brilliant. Okay, and we're doing this here. I'm going to add a wee tiny touch of cream to it. Then it goes. And now we're working. So it's all coming together. And we're really start working on it. Okay, brilliant. So it's looking good. So at this point here now, I'm just going to turn the temperature up a little bit. And that's where we're coming. Just going to put it on the side. And what you want to do is make it savion. So you want to aerate, cook out your egg yolk nice and gently. Um, with this here, I'm using pasteurized egg yolk. That's what we use in the rest. We always pasteurized egg whites and egg yolks. Okay? So being realistic, that's now working. This process will probably take about a minute. Oh, and that's where we're coming from there. Brilliant. I'm going to turn it a wee bit more to get it going. You can see now it's all starting to come together. Brilliant. And being honest, probably about another 30 seconds, I would say this is done. And the key thing is you need to cook it out and you need your egg yolk to be thick and well cooked out. You know, so it's like a very heavy mayonnaise, but it's warm. And that's the key thing. The one thing you don't want is scrambled eggs. Okay? And once again, this can turn very, very quickly. So you're doing this here. Brilliant. There we have it. So that there is done. So I'm going to turn the temperature off there, turn everything off. Okay? So this point here now, you can sort of see our mix. It's nice and thick. Okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my tarragon in. And once again, we're chopping it nice and fresh, nice and fine. Now we're using fresh tarragon. I would never ever even dream about using dry tarragon. It's just, you I mean, fresh is best. Lovely, fresh tarragon you can't be. I cut down nice and fine. And once again, using a very sharp knife. You don't want to bruise, you know, bruise your leaves or anything you're working with. So the key thing is, always a good, sharp knife. Okay? Done, and it goes. And with our pepper, just a pinch. And it goes. 
squeeze the lemon juice into it. And that goes brilliant. So we're working well here. And once again, you can see out there now. So what I'm gonna do is make a little nest before going any further, just to hold my bowl as I'm whisking. Okay, let's move this out of the way here. Okay. So our egg, our clarified egg is here, or sorry, clarified butter is here. So all I'm gonna do is now pour it in unbelievably slowly. And that's the key thing now, nice and slow. You know, we're in, in a goes. As soon as it's all emulsified in, then we add a bit more to it. A bit more. Done. You can see now it's starting to thicken up. Once again, I'm giving it a few. As I'm doing this, I'm sort of really getting, I can smell the tag and really working well. So I think with that goes, a bit more. Once again, put it back down. You know, and this is exactly, this, this is the, the Bernays sauce that I'll be using today. And that goes, once again, whisk it down. Process is whisking. Again, here we go, and a bit more, whisk it, and it goes. Now you have to do it nice and slow. If you throw that in, you're gonna spit it, right? And there's no way of bringing it back, really. Some people will use a wee bit of water to it, you know, to bring it back, but if you're not serving it straight away, all it's gonna do is just then fall apart on you. Really, it's gonna spit on you no matter what. So, me, I'd rather take the curd doing it. And split it. So there we have that there. A bit more. Looking good. A bit more clarified butter. Let's get in. Looking good. A bit more in there. All right. At the moment now, I have 250 grams of butter in this here. So, um, yeah, it's looking good. So then that goes. Next one in. Brilliant. So we're looking good there. Off done. Okay. Clean there, brilliant. Right, so there's that there. Get a spoon here before we go any further. Give it a wee taste. What does it need? I think it needs a bit more lemon juice, personally. A tiny bit more salt. And a little bit more pepper. Cayenne pepper. And then it goes. And then there is our Bernays sauce. So there we have it, beautiful Bernays sauce, nice and thick, and that's what you want, and it's just a blood temperature, nothing more. So that's for tonight, a Bernays sauce. Brilliant, and that's, uh, should I say, live from Hatsky's. Yeah. <laughs> so there you are, thank you very much, take care, bye-bye.